Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your daily vibes for Monday, June 25th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, so whenever this resonates with you, this is meant for all signs, but it still may not resonate, okay? This is, a, this is what I'm picking up on today. Oh, okay. And then you see they're going together hard for some reason. I don't know why. The Knight of Cups. Okay, we have the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is about wanting more, wanting that love connection, wanting, wanting to your relationship to grow or to find a relationship. This is what I want. I want love. I want love. And it feels as though... You know, there could be an offer of love coming in, or you could be offering love. So we'll see what we get to go with it. It's a challenge, though, because it did come out sideways. So somebody is is wondering how they should proceed in regards to love. You know, I want it. I want it. But I may be a little scared of it. It's a challenge. It's a challenge. Offering that cup of love offering it or being in it you know love is a challenge at this time that's what it looks like to me Somebody needs to let go of their worries. They need to let go of their anxiety. They need to stop feeling guilty and step outside of their ego. This is an ego card to find wish fulfillment and head in the direction of their love. It's really funny. It is because I posted something on Facebook in my Facebook on my Facebook today. I did. It said, uh, follow your heart, something like that. Your heart knows the way. Run in that direction. That's what I, that's, that's what I posted just a, maybe an hour ago. And it, it appears that somebody's pride is in the way of going in that direction. Okay? And they've, they've probably lost some sleep over it. They've probably worried about it quite a bit. They've felt um, very confused with this decision that they need to make but in all reality this whatever this love situation is it will lead to happiness and that is where their happiness lies their happiness lies with within their heart you know following their heart but this can be opinions so I feel like there's probably a lot of people's opinions at work here you know there's people um are stating their opinion, they're putting their nose in, you know, this is what I think, blah, 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 blah. And this is, don't worry. Don't worry about the other people's opinions. It's about your happiness. It is. It's not about their happiness. It's about your happiness. So I feel as though somebody has an opportunity to grow their love or head in the direction that their heart is calling them to head in. Pride is in the way. Other people's opinions are in the way, and they need to stop worrying. They need to stop worrying about the opinions of others and their pride and go after their happiness. Head in the direction of what is going to make you happy. These are mirroring each other, okay? Somebody's thinking about going back. I'm thinking about going back to somebody that was left. Okay, because the Eight of Cups is leaving somebody behind. Now it's reversed. Somebody is thinking about going back, offering an apology. Could <laughs> Wanting to um, have faith again after faith was lost. Okay, so we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and we have Taurus here, and we have Leo here. 
it feels as though there's some, there was some sort of lack of commitment. Somebody may have been blocked, okay? There's somebody may have been blocked, and now you may have to take... Um, different steps to get through to them you know what i mean because you've been blocked somebody is absolute the hair font reverse is blockages somebody may have been blocked and maybe somebody is using that as an excuse as as an excuse to to not apologize you know it's a way out i've been blocked i don't have to i don't have to but that page of pentacles is about finding the integrity and the backbone to take charge and make that new offer and this and, and, and or or even apologize i mean this is a card of apologies somebody is thinking about it this is thinking about it perhaps you know apologizing thinking about it but pride is still a factor but this is in reverse so there i can see that somebody is thinking about apologizing wanting they're wanting to step outside of their ego and follow their heart it's funny that i posted that that's funny I posted a couple more about apologies. Interesting. Yeah, there's a new opportunity here. There's a new opportunity that would make you real, real, very, very happy and lead to stability and security. Somebody has decided to make some compromises. They're wanting to work together. They're wanting to come back together. I've changed. I've evolved. I, um, I want to restore the balance and harmony in my life. And step out of this place of confusion. I feel as though somebody has been restraining themselves for quite some time. And, and now they, they've decided or they're coming to the point of decision where, you know, I just want to be happy. I really want to be happy. And my heart knows what it wants. So maybe, maybe I do. Maybe I need to step outside of my ego self and, and offer this apology. Okay, whatever it is. But... I'm going to zoom this in or focus it, whatever you want to call it. Um, there is a new opportunity being or waiting for you, okay? It's waiting for you. This is the Ace of Pentacles. This is something that is secure. It's stable. It's um, something you've been manifesting as well. It's like you've been, whatever, whoever this is that you're thinking about as I'm doing this reading, you've been thinking about them a lot. And they're thinking about you too, because I feel like this is a, this is, um, I think this is a soulmate connection. I really do. I feel like this is where you guys are, are really going back and forth with each other. You're feeling each other constantly constantly and now somebody has come to the conclusion that you know I have to own up to this I do it's time for me to own up to this and I think that you've been taking taking a lot of time to think about it but now somebody is finding their their um, backbone to take charge and they understand that it isn't going to be pretty it isn't going to be pretty it's not going to be pretty but I want to work on this I want to make this work I want to I want to do whatever it takes to to come together to to make the compromises that I need to find this happiness and the security. So I feel like there is a new opportunity here for love. Um, there's been a lot of confusion and um, worry about the outcome. There has a lot of confusion and worry and, and pride has gotten in the way. But somebody is probably deciding, you know, it's, it's, it's time. It's, it's time. Time for me to go off with something secure and stable that is going to make us all happy. Whatever this is. Let's see. We're going to get some more cards. Somebody is looking for growth in a relationship and willing to do the work to... To make it happen I'm, wi I'm willing I'm willing to compromise I'm willing to do whatever it takes to make this work and that is justice that is justice when you do the right thing this is a card of integrity and this is a card of integrity somebody is about to do the right thing be honest about their feelings um, make a solid decision because they're ready to bring balance back to their life I need to bring balance and peace and harmony and love back to my life 
okay oh gosh queen of pentacles so i feel like it, it's time for me to do be practical okay i gotta be practical i gotta i got to put effort into this it's gonna be i know that this is going to take a lot of work but this is what i want this is what i want i want something stable and secure this is what i'm looking for i mean it's it's time for me to do the right thing. It's time for me to communicate instead of just observing and sitting on the sidelines watching. It's time for me to tell it like it is, to speak up and deal with the conflicts that this brings. There is going to be some mild, and let me hence the word mild, conflicts from this. Because there's consequences from your, with, from your actions. There's consequences here. So I do feel like there is going to be some sort of some mild conflicts, but the overall outcome is happiness and security, stability. So I feel as though this new coming together that someone is headed towards, somebody is headed towards coming back together with someone coming back together they're at they are someone is headed towards coming back together after things had been blocked and it feels as after their pride got in the way and other people's opinions blah 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 somebody so you were probably dealing maybe with a child or a family member or a friend or somebody that didn't have anything to good to say about this other person that you're thinking about whatever and it feels as though you, you're like, you know what, I need to follow my heart. I don't care what you have to say. I need to do what's right for me. I feel as though, and you are about to take charge and head in that direction because it's the right thing to do. I mean, this is justice to bring balance back to your life. Okay, so it feels as though, yeah, there is going to be some conflicts when, you know, the, the, the consequences come out. Because, it, you know, there's consequences for your actions. So there's going to be some sort of, of, of healing that is needed within this situation, okay? But in order to heal, you're going to have to get it all out on the table. So this is healing. Consequences get it out on the table it's gonna have to come out so that you can heal so that you can have this new happy beginning so I feel like there is going to be some communication whether it's today or next week because the timing is fluid that leads you to something secure and happy and stable if somebody can step outside of their ego offer an apology stop thinking about it stop living in confusion and not let other people's opinions hold them back I don't know who the heck this is for, but you are definitely dealing with a naysayer. You're dealing with somebody in your life that has nothing good to say about this partnership that you're in, this relationship, and it's it's holding you back from your own happiness. Now, this is in regards to a, a love situation, so I'm going to get an angel romance card. Oh, there's a karmic situation here because justice is karma. There is a karmic situation here that hasn't been closed yet. It's not over. And in order to bring back the balance, we have balance here and balance here. Somebody's going to have to take action and communicate. I mean, we have this communi communication is needed. Instead of sitting back on the sidelines and watching, it's time to, it's time to do the right thing. It's time to find that uh, moral backbone to... Perhaps apologize. And a lot of people don't want to apologize, but I see apology here. I do. Apology, apology, do the right thing. Act with integrity. Somebody's thinking about going back to something they love. Could, you know, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Leo. Taurus is here the most. Libra is here quite a bit. Doesn't matter what sign you are. It really doesn't. 
the fact of the matter is, is somebody wants relationship growth or a new relationship or to fix a relationship. And in order to fix the relationship, apology and communication is needed. It does lead to happiness, security, and stability, and it's something you've been manifesting. It's something that has been on your mind a lot. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Maybe there's not. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. The red flags is under opinions. Somebody's opinions are holding you back. This unrequited love. I feel as though there has been a situation where the grass wasn't greener on the other side. And now they want to go back to who they really love. It didn't work out with someone else. Somebody tried to find wish fulfillment elsewhere and realized that they, they, it can't happen. It's not meant to be. And now they want to go back to what they love. That's what this is. The grass wasn't greener on the other side. <coughs> Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. We're going to get one of these to see what comes up. I hate to cover up that Queen of Pentacles. It just doesn't seem right. Um... Pay attention to the red flags. You've got some naysayers in your in your in your arena. Okay, you do. You've got some people you do that aren't that are holding you back from following your heart. And you are being called to take the steps. Take the steps towards security and stability. Love it, love it, love it. Follow your own rhythm. Follow your heart. Don't listen to these people that are trying to tell you, you need to move on, you need to do this, you need to do that. And I know that a lot of times, I say it too, you need to move on, you need to move on. I tell people this daily. Somebody needs to hear this reading. What does your heart want? What does your heart, your heart want? Follow your own rhythm. It's not about what anybody else has to say. It's not about what society thinks. It's not about anybody but your own heart, what your heart want, wants. You know, other people's opinions are reflections of themselves. It's what they know. Where does their experience lie? What do, they, what do they know about your heart? What do they know about your life? What do they know about your future? Are they even going to be there in the future? Are they going to be there when you're old? Where's their opinion? When's their opinion going to matter then? Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning. You are dealing with somebody that is filling you, making you confused. They are. That's the seven of cups is confusion. They're confusing you. Confusing you from following your heart. And you are being guided to take the steps that your heart wants you to take. Follow your own path to hell with them. So anyway, I feel as though you have a new opportunity waiting for you if you just follow your heart. Whoever this is for. This will not resonate with every single person.
even if following your heart means getting out of a situation. The basis of this whole reading, the, the meaning of this reading today is follow your heart. Run in that direction. Whether it's leaving a situation where there is unrequited love or it's going back to a situation that your heart wants. The reading today is follow your heart. It's about what you want. It's not about the opinions of others. Other, other, and let me just change this a minute. Other people's opinions, they may be saying to you, Oh no, you have to stay there. You have to, that person is good for you. You follow your heart. Those people aren't you. Where are they going to be in 10 years? Where are they going to be when you are 70? Talk to you later.